Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, we're continuing our DevOps discussion and I want to go over the configuration of a integrated DevOps tool and what that looks like in ServiceNow. So in previous videos, we talked about the overall concept, showed you a pipeline, um, we talked through configuring that and that was Azure DevOps. So I'm going to show you on the ServiceNow side what that Azure DevOps configuration looks like. Um, so to do that, I'm going to start with the DevOps menu within ServiceNow. So you see here, I type in DevOps, and I can see all the different things that I can do um, in the DevOps application in ServiceNow. Um, we're going to get to the pipeline in a future video, but right now I want to talk through one of the tools um, that I've integrated with this particular ServiceNow instance, and that is Azure DevOps. Um, we might do Jira in a future video or some other tools, but when you configure one of these, um, it's actually much simpler than it used to be in the past. I can vouch that personally because I've configured this with every release of ServiceNow. Um, setting up Azure DevOps, I basically provided some credentials. Um, I went through a menu item that you'll see here. Let me just click Create New. Um, essentially, I basically gave, the, it gave it a name, uh, picked from a list of things that I wanted to integrate, and one of those was Azure DevOps. So if you haven't seen these before, this is what's out of the box, that's what's out of the box. No, that's, that's what's out of the box. <laughs> Point in the right direction. So Sonar, Bitbucket, GitHub, Jira, Jenkins, GitLab, JFrog, Azure DevOps, and Agile Development 2.0. This is the service now, Agile Development 2.0. So I did Azure DevOps. And I gave it a, a URL, username, and, and for Azure DevOps, use a personal access token. Um, that's what's supported to do the integration. So um, what that integration looks like in ServiceNow, once you've configured it, um, it will make the connection and then you run a discovery. So if you see here, I've got a, a discover button. So discovery is the, it's these jobs, these scripts that are going to run and find different things. Um, so it found uh, one plan, which is really a project in Azure DevOps, one repo or repository, um, which is I, I've named, the whole project is named San Diego Showcase, uh, as you may have seen in a previous video. Any orchestration tasks, that's part of the pipeline that I showed in a previous video on Azure DevOps. And then we have a, a, a listing here for the pipeline itself. So these orchestration tasks are actually part of this pipeline. And then I've got a, basically a running history of all the connections that have happened with that particular tool. Um, so when you come in here and you discover, it will go do these import requests and it'll run these imports and it'll pull in the different things. So if I move my head, you can see the different um, capabilities. It's gonna look at planning, it's gonna look at code, it's gonna look at orchestration. And if I was using the artifacts, which I haven't played around with yet in the DevOps app, um, it would pull in any artifacts um, it is part of that discovery piece. So if we click on plans here, we can see I've got that San Diego showcase, but within an actual plan or a project, you've got work items, you've got features, you've got um, releases and applications. So you can see here um, me testing and doing some stuff, different release versions, features that I might have, so I did an epic and that mapped to a feature. And then I've got an app. So this app is what lives in service now. It's part of the CMDB. Um, so we've associated this planning tool with the DevOps demo app that I created in my CMDB in this particular instance. Next up, I've got uh, the repo or repository. Uh, not much going on there other than commits. So you can see, oh, and the branches. Yeah, so you see all the branches that I've done through demos and stuff like that. All of the commits that I've made as part of my testing and troubleshooting and getting stuff done. And if I had any import requests, they'd be showing there. So um, that's what's giving you insight into all that stuff. Orchestration tasks, they're pretty much straightforward. I'm gonna go over these in a future video, but if you look behind my head here, they're essentially um, build, test, deploy, which you've, if you've watched the Azure DevOps pipeline setup, you can see how that kind of mirrors what's over there. And then in the future video, we're gonna dive deep into the pipeline configuration because that's where we're gonna do stuff like configure change control, set up templates, uh, look at what branches are monitored and stuff like that. But what you just saw is how the Azure DevOps looks on the ServiceNow side. So connection was made, we discovered everything, we imported different things, and now there's um, webhooks. 
that gets set up uh, when you're configuring it so that when something happens in Azure DevOps, we're notified in service now. So if there's a work item, a new work item, a commit or something like that, um, those are automatically being sent to ServiceNow. And of course, um, if ServiceNow wants to talk to Azure DevOps, it definitely can. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.